for three years, one corner in my apartment has failed to achieve the perfect balance of cuteness and function. Can the entryway shoe area be saved? Find out in today's video. Hey guys, it's time for the final frontier. So this little corner in my apartment has been bothering me for three years because all of the other spaces in my apartment look so cute, except for this one, and it's not functional either. The other little entryway area in our apartment functions so well, and it's also really aesthetically pleasing. I redid this area last year uh, about this time, so go ahead and watch that video if you missed that one. It's so cute and fun. We even have shopping bags. It is so functional for us. However, this shoe area has become very problematic for all of us. There's just not enough space for shoes and the Dyson vacuum definitely has to live here. There is no other footprint for it. And if I move it, we will be reaching for it there for months and screaming profanity. So I'm not gonna move it, it has to stay there. I also wanted to hide the internet booster and the Dyson plug because these were just sort of eyesores. I was just sick of looking at them. Um, what we had is this microfiber mat, boot mat, and it was really good at absorbing water. So if it was raining or snowy, it was really good to keep the floors clean. However, it's very small and you can only put three pairs of shoes there. When our friends came over, they were just screwed and we're really not supposed to put shoes in the hallways. So I wanted a solution where we could put multiple pairs of shoes and as you can see the shoes come out almost into the opening of the bathroom which bothered me a lot so the first thing I did was I wanted to measure and see how much space I was working with and surprisingly it was only about eight inches very small whatever solution I was going to put there had to be extremely shallow I also wanted to cover the ugly fuse box I didn't really want to look at it it was in such a prominent place in our apartment that I just I didn't want to look at it anymore so but I wanted a solution that I could cover it with but remove it just in case I needed to get in there and I also wanted to measure below the fuse box so that any solution I put below the fuse box I wouldn't have to move if I needed to get inside just like any other organizing project that I do in my home, it starts with removing everything from the space. In this case, I left the Dyson vacuum there because I wanted to make sure that any solution I purchased or uh, was going to create for the space was going to fit in the same space as the Dyson because like I said before, we can't move that baby. There is, oh, that was close. We had to make sure that the Dyson stayed there. A, there's no more footprint in our apartment for it to go and B it's been there for years we'll be reaching for it and again profanity is not good so it's got to stay I got this super cool shoe rack from a, a brand called Yamazaki at home I got it from Amazon and it is only eight inches deep. I don't even really think it's that deep. It's so shallow. It was perfect for the space. It was kind of a pain to put together, but I did it very quickly and it is made of a really nice metal. There's no plastic on it at all and it's really well made. There are nice feet on the bottom so it doesn't slide around and the shoes actually go on there at an angle and it's so cool. This was a bit of an investment for me at $70. I'm not even joking. However, it is very well made. It's very sturdy. It's made from metal. It's beautiful quality, nice clean lines. And as you can see, the vacuum fits there. Yes, it's coming a little bit into the opening, but it's fine. So here is the ugly fuse box. And you can see the shoe rack fits right below the fuse box, kind of perfectly it's insane how perfect it fit let's try a pair of shoes on here these are my everyday walk and sneakers look at that look at that fits so well I like that and as you can see there's lots of space for me to dance around in front of the bathroom I grabbed a $4 shelf from Home Depot to give it a console table feel because I wanted a little more decorative uh, element to it. So I grabbed, it was like $4 and I just measured to make sure it was gonna fit and then I'm gonna pull off the label. 
so satisfying, oh yeah. Because I'm now using this as a console table and not just a shoe storage area, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't gonna tip over. So I grabbed these cord bundlers from Command and I wrapped them around to make sure that it doesn't tip forward. I will show you later in the video exactly how they're going to stabilize it to the wall, but I thought this was a really fun solution. Before I attached the shelf to the shoe rack, I wanted to make sure it was directly in the middle and for some reason, I got it perfect the first time. I, I was in shock. How did I do that? I drew some lines where I wanted to put the command strips because if I needed to take the top of this table off, I definitely wanted to be able to have that option. So I grabbed some picture hanging strips from Command. This video is not sponsored by Command, by the way. I just love Command strips. Anyway, as you can see, they're kind of Velcro-y and you can put one on one surface and one on the other and boom, when they come together, they fall in love and attach and keep things close together. It's a miracle. We love them. All right, this part's always the trickiest. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, it's on. Yay, I did it. And for some reason, Home Depot is just like everything on it has sawdust. I don't know why. Anyway, I had to give it a good clean. It was bleh. Next, I grabbed this no frills, super cheap mirror from Target. I think this was like $13, so cheap. One of these days I might upgrade it, but for now, this is the mirror in question that is supposed to conceal the ugly fuse box. So I made sure that it was going to completely cover the fuse box, which it was, but I was gonna lift it up a couple of inches because I was just gonna put some things on the bottom and I just wanted to make sure I concealed the fuse box as much as I could from the top rather than the bottom because no one was really gonna see the bottom. Anyway, I lifted it up a little bit with one of these books that I had that was just about the right distance where I was lifting it up and I measured to make sure that I was going to put the you got it, command hooks in the right place because I was gonna hang this mirror with command hooks. You know I love command hooks. Anyway, these are the nail command hooks. So you can put something that requires a nail, like a picture, on to a wall without damaging your wall with these really cool hooks. I love these. I've used these in so many apartments. They are very functional. They're kind of big, so you have to make sure you cover the whole thing, which I think there's a little bit of it sticking out in the end, but I'm totally okay because you can't really tell at all. And while I was at Target grabbing the mirror, I just caught my eye. Look at how cute. Let's stay in. Let's go out. I love this little sign. Let's be honest, I'd much rather stay in because I'm a hermit. Anyway, um, I put some shoes here to see how much I could cover up those uh, plugs in there and the internet booster. So ugly. Anyway, the shoes fit really great there. You can store um, more women's shoes than you can men's shoes, but it doesn't matter because I love it. Our friends can come over and put their shoes there. And because I lost functionality on one of the shelves because I added a shelf on top, I just decided, hey, umbrella storage. Why the heck not? And in case you were wondering, here is my anti-tip solution. <laughs> I am very impressed with this shoe rack. It is beautiful, functional, and fits the aesthetic of the apartment and is just the right size. It doesn't come into the entryway or the opening of the bathroom, which was getting on my nerves a lot. It even looks good from the bathroom. Look at me. I can walk out of the bathroom and not have to worry about stepping on shoes finally. It's amazing. I love it. It's 
so cute and now the rest of the apartment looks it fits this corner do you guys like this transformation let me know down in the comment down below and also let me know what you do with your shoes in your entryway do you guys have a shoe rack do you guys put your shoes outside do you not care let me know in the comment down below for more organizing and home videos, subscribe. I publish three times a week, and plus I have a really cute dog, which you can see here. This is Mr. Clover. Everybody loves him. He's very tired from his long walk today. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.